So today I'm going to show you how to easily transfer files over a network to your Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it from Windows. It's super similar to if you're doing it from Linux to your Raspberry Pi. So um, the very first thing you need to do is enable SSH. So if you open up your terminal here and then do sudo raspy config, I'll put this command in the uh, down below so then you can just copy and paste it if you want. Um, in here you would go down to interfacing options and then go to SSH and then just hit yes for enabling it. Then after you're done, just go down and uh, hit finish. So now SSH is enabled and now we just need to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So this assumes you're on the same local network as your other device. So I'm just gonna type in IF config. Again, I'll put this in the description and this will give you your IP address to connect to. So this makes it so you can transfer over the network. This address right here is the one we need. So I have 192.168.1.50, and that's my local IP address. Um, now I can go to my Windows computer and I can use WinSCP to transfer files over. So on Windows, um, if you don't have WinSCP yet, you can get it from 98.com. I'll put that into the description. Super easy to install. Just uh, go to this page and then you just choose WinSCP right here and then just hit get your 9 and then install it and it takes like 30 seconds. So um, once you have it installed, you can just open up WinSCP like this. And now it's gonna ask you for uh, the host name. So the host name in this case is that IP address that you just looked up. So I remember mine was 192.168.1.50. And then you're gonna need to put in your username and password um, for your Pi. If you're enabling SSH, I probably would recommend that you change your uh, just default password so don't just have it as Pi Raspberry. But if you haven't changed it, then that's what it is. I have changed mine, so I'm just gonna put in my password that I know it is, and then hit login. And so now what you see here is on the left is my local computer, and then on the right is my Raspberry Pi. So I can just drag things over and they will appear on the Raspberry Pi. So um, for example, if I um, go into my circuit design stuff here, right, right here, and then I just drag this over to the desktop, you'll see it show up on my Raspberry Pi. So. I'll drag it over so now when I switch back to my Raspberry Pi it should be right on the desktop. So you can see back here on my Raspberry Pi now that uh, file I just dragged over appears on my desktop. And the opposite works as well so if I were to go to my desktop on the left here which is my local computer and drag something over so I'll drag over this motor lab right here then you will see it immediately pop up on my desktop over here. So now I just copied something back from my Raspberry Pi over to my local computer. So that's how to easily copy files over your network to your Raspberry Pi. 